Hello and welcome to Chicks of the Straight channel. Today is the 25th of January 2018 and in today's feature um, we're featuring Zach Posen. Um, Zach Posen is a designer and uh, we're going to take a look at Zach Posen and actually see if he's the gender that he claims because um, he's being passed off to us as being um, a homosexual male in a homosexual relationship. So uh, we're going to find out if Zach Posen actually stands up to the test. Now, before we go any further, I want to give a special thanks to Daniil. Um, Daniil spotted this and brought this to attention and said uh, that she thought that um, Zach Posen could be uh, uh, an imposter in, in, a, in his gender. So uh, we want to thank Daniil specially for bringing this to attention. And we want to say that we appreciate her as a very great sub, that she should keep doing what she's doing and keep learning and discovering her world and looking with the eyes but seeing with the brain so uh, if it's your first time on the channel and you heard all that and you want to get into the video real quick um, this is the point of the video that we advise that you pause the video right here and go look for the primer video you have to watch the primer video first before you watch any video on this channel without watching the primer video a lot of the things that you're saying is not going to make any sense to you at all uh, the primer video is the most important video that you have to watch on this channel because it's going to answer so many of your questions. So you don't have too many questions and, you know, you get confused and everything else because there's a lot of confusion out there that's been passed on to us by the Vatican. So the primer video is going to give you the right foundation for watching the so many videos that we have on our channel. So let me post, uh, uh, let me actually, sorry to say, show you uh, how to watch the primer video first before you can come back and continue watching the Zach Posen video. So let's do that. Um, the Primer video is going to be the oldest video on the channel. It's called Primer. It also has a playlist. So you can go to the channel and look for the playlist called Primer. Now, when you click on the Primer video or any video that we have on this channel, there's a link in the description section. The link in the description section is going to point you to a document. All right. I'm going to show you the document in a minute. Um, the reason why we uh, give out this document is that so that you can study it for your own and so you can be able to carry out a trans investigation. But if you do not, uh, when you watch any of our videos, we show you how we carry out a trans investigation. So you don't waste time looking at maybe uh, the features, all right? the so-called male and female features, which has been changed, which can be changed through plastic surgery. And through the hormones that we eat, doesn't make it very distinct that a woman can have a womanly features. I mean, it's like facially and uh, a man can have, uh, you know, uh, a manly features facially. It's because of all the things that the Vatican has been doing with the food or water and with plastic surgery, which makes people not to look like the typical male or typical male and female facial features. So we're going to move over to the document just to show you uh, uh, what the document looks like if you're a first timer on our channel. Uh, the document is called Male versus Female Visual Difference. Uh, the document is about 44 pages long, but it has a lot of pictures, but it will give you the visual cues that you could be looking at. But if you're not interested in reading the document and you don't have the time, you can watch how we do the transvestigation on each and every video on the parts that we focus on. Because if you focus on those parts, you're never going to get anything wrong. Uh, the main differences between a man and a woman, okay, lies in the fact that the female skeletal structure is designed to give birth. A man's skeletal structure is not designed to give birth. So because a female skeletal structure is designed to give birth and that um, difference lies in the female pelvic region in the back. So what happens is that a woman has to have an arch in her back because the pelvis of a woman is tilted forward, okay? The pelvis is tilted forward so that a baby can stay inside the womb during conception. Also, the hips of a female are below the crutch. A female has a wide pubic arch so that a baby can come out of the womb. And also, um, a female has a um, uh, What else am I missing right here? It has um, that I mentioned. I think I mentioned everything. So a female has an arch in the back. You right? a pelvis is tilted forward a wide pubic arch and hips below the crotch. So those are the major differences between a female and a male that helps her give birth. 
So that's what you should focus on if you're trying to uh, uh, determine the differences between uh, a male and a female. Males are not designed to give birth. So a male's back is going to be straight and the hips are going to be above the crutch. Uh, the pubic arch is going to be narrow. All right. And those are the differences. So let's get into uh, uh, the document because we want to start a trans investigation of Zach Posen as we're going along. So there's a female right here, as you can see, this is a female to my left, left of the screen, and she has an arch in the back. Like I've described before, the arch is because the pelvis of a woman is tilted forward. And also the arch is extra support for the weight of carrying children. And also because, because the pelvis is tilted forward, the back of a woman has to, you know, arch to accommodate that, um, or the spine of a woman has to arch to accommodate that uh, pelvic tilt. And also, a woman's back, uh, the spine is also made flexible enough so that she can carry the weight of children and not have problems walking or tumbling over or any other thing like that. So um, those are the differences for a female. Now, um, a female's back is always going to be shaped like a C or an S, depending on where you draw the line in the back from. If you draw it from high above the shoulder blade, it's going to form an S-shaped spine, okay? If you draw it just below the shoulder blade, it's going to form a deep C-shaped uh, arch in the back. So I want you guys to remember that difference. Now, with males, males have straight backs. Uh, a man's back does not arch. If a man's back wants to arch, it's going to arch outside. A female's back arches inside. So with this man's back here, what you can see is that it's a D shape or shaped like a P in which this part comes out a little bit more, but the back goes straight down into the pelvis. So that's why we say males have straight backs. It's always going to go straight down into the pelvis. It's not going to have this deep sea arch that you find here on a female's back. So I'm going to scroll further into the document just to show you what uh, the arch really looks like. So you can see here's a female kneeling down. So you can see she has a deep sea arch in the back because the pelvis is tilted forward. That's why females are much more flexible than men, for example. Uh, a woman can uh, do splits far better than a, a man because uh, the, woman, the female has a wide pubic arch, okay? So regardless of the uh, ethnicity or color of the skin, a female's back is always going to arch much, much more than a man because a female's back is much more flexible than that of a man. So a uh, scroll into the document just to show you it doesn't matter the size of the female. There's always going to be an arch in the back irrespective of her size, irrespective if she's got muscles or not. So here is two females on my screen. There is a big female to my left and a small female to my right. You can see she has an arch in her back. The pelvis is tilted forward. A small female right here, arch in the back, pelvis is tilted forward. It doesn't matter what size the woman comes in, short, small, thick, whatever you call it. There's always going to be an arch in the female's back. Some are going to be subtle and some are going to be very, very pronounced. Uh, ethnicity does matter also in the subtlety of the uh, arch in the back. But regardless, all females all right, have an arch in the back. Uh, what we're scrolling down to document just to show you right here that um, it doesn't matter if the females got muscles. Nothing can change the skeletal structure of a person. Once that structure is determined and set at conception, nothing can change it. All right? Nothing. It doesn't matter how far advanced science will be in the next couple of years or generations from now. Nothing can change the skeletal structure of a man into a woman or a woman into a man. The hips of a female are always going to be below the crutch, regardless of the surgery or the drugs you take. The hips of a man are always going to be above the crutch, regardless of the surgery or the drugs that the man takes. Okay, so that's what you have to understand. Nothing can change the skeletal structure. Once that sex is determined at conception, nothing can change the skeletal structure. Whatever drugs you take will only change the skin and the muscles. That's all what it does. So for a female here, you can see right here, she's a very muscular female. She has an arch in the back. Another female right here, she has an arch in the back. 
So let's go into a short video to show you the location of the female hip clearly in a video so we can carry on with the trans investigation of Zach Posen today. So let's do that. So here is a short video that I'm going to play. The video is going to show you how a female, you know, is gets measured into clothes uh, because there's a lot of, you know, deliberate misinformation being passed around by the people who are at the hams of making transgenders possible that we're going to show you today in Zach Posen. Uh, they're trying to confuse people into uh, understanding the differences between male and females. Um, uh, females always have their hips below their crotch. That's how a female's clothes are sewn. So generally, uh, when a female clothes are being sewn all around the world, because you have different countries that uh, sew clothes, and for example, Vietnam or Thailand, and China, all those clothes get shipped into the Americas, Europe, and wherever uh, they want to go. If there were varying places, that means if the female hip was different, you know, for different of uh, across all women, um, the clothes would be your problem. They would not be able to fit because if you can determine where uh, the hip of a woman is and you think that every female has hips in different places in her body or uh, subject to that some say the hips are above the crotch and you, you hear all that nothing can change the location of the hip so that's why for example when people are dead and buried uh, by their bone structure they can determine what sex they were because the pelvic region determines uh, the difference between the sexes between the male and the female so in this short video clip right here, are we going to try to, uh, uh, the female is going to be measured for you to see where the location of a hip is at. And as with regular females, you can see that she starts spreading from underneath her elbows. That's one thing you have to notice. As a woman, if you stand and you uh, wrap your arms around your body across your elbow from your elbows, you start noticing that you start spreading, uh, getting wider from underneath your elbows down. All right. And the widest point is always going to be the hip, which is going to be below the crutch. Now, um, a lot of channels tell you that there is such a thing as a hip to um, shoulder ratio. So that means, for example, if a woman's uh, shoulders are wider than her hips, then that makes it that the female is not a woman. But that's not true. A woman's shoulders can be wider than her hips. It's the location of the hip that matters. The location of the female hip is always going to be below the crotch, regardless if her shoulders are wider than her hips. Now, one thing that uh, people don't know, um, the right way to put it would be that there's such a thing as waist to hip ratio. So in some females, the waist can be actually bigger than the hips. That means she has a bigger, a bigger waist than the hips. But that doesn't change the location all right of the hip it's always going to be below the crutch so with this female right here she's going to be measured into clothes and the tape goes around the widest point because this is how you actually sew a woman's clothes you have to know the location of that hip and it's below the crutch as the tape goes around and measures it so you can walk into a store into a tailor if you have any tailor around and tell them if you're female measure my hip if you're male Tell them to measure your hip and you're going to find out that for the male hip, the tape will always go around it above the crutch for the female is always going to go around it below the crutch. OK, so um, the Q angle, the Q angle is also very important because um, remember, the pubic arch of a female is wider. It's wider so that a baby can come out of the womb when she's ready to give birth. OK, so because the pubic arch is wider, it pushes everything further apart in the female body in the pelvic region so this makes the q angle of a female to be much more acute than that of a man and the q angle of a female will always start below the crutch while that of a man will always be higher up so this female is going to turn around so you can see from the back where the location of that q angle is relative to her backside so as you can see right there, the Q angle is slightly above this bum line, but it's below the crutch. OK, now a lot of people have problems uh, looking at a female from the front. If you're trying to find out if someone is a uh, the gender they claim or is a transgender, right? 
when you look at a woman from the back, you can always know that you're looking at a female because the Q angle is going to be so, so acute when you look at a female from the back. For a man, the Q angle is going to be less acute and it's going to be higher up above this bum line right here, making you understand that you're looking at a male. So if you're trying to find out if someone is a trans and you have difficulties looking at the pictures of the person from the front, Try to see if you can see if there is a picture of the person from the back. When you look at the pictures from the back, you're going to know definitely that you're looking at either a man or a woman. So let's move on into Zach Post. So before we move into Zach Post, and this is the part that I have to put a warning up on the channel. Uh, the channel is a different kind of channel. So it's an educational channel. It's not based on, you know, entertaining you or any of that stuff. Because the people who are um, running our world, which happens to be the Vatican, which is responsible for putting the transgenders that we find in every sphere and contact of life, are uh, doing this deliberately. Now, the deliberateness of what they're doing is far more deeper than what you might think it is. It's a form of worship, all right? I don't have time to be explaining all that information in this video because we've put all the information that you need to know about your world in a book. All right. So if you're interested in the book, oh, the book, if you've ever been confused about life, um, if you've ever been confused about uh, what you see, uh, your history, the world and what's going on. The book that we've put together is going to make you have a clear understanding of your world. Now, we encourage a lot of people and everybody, okay, to send us an email if you're interested in the book. Because like I've said before, the book is not going to be uh, on Amazon. You're not going to get it from Walmart. You're not going to get it from Barnes and Nobles. You'll never get it from any of those institutions in this world. We are planning on making the book to be available to everybody. We'll let you know the price and the cost of shipping to get the book. Uh, the book so far right now is, uh, I think, uh, it's um, it's up to 500 pages and above. Uh, we don't think it's going to, uh, you know, uh, meet up to um, 700 pages yet because uh, um, we're working on the review. So we're reviewing the book. The book is going to be ready very soon. Uh, we were hoping that it would be ready before the end of January, but it looks like it's going to be definitely by uh, the, um, let's say, middle of February or the end of February. Definitely we're going to get the book out because the Vatican is trying to shut our channel down because they don't like us telling us truth. They don't, they don't like, rather, we're telling people the truth about their world for people who've been trying to understand what's been going on. They landed a strike on our account, all right? They landed a strike on account for a Selena, Quinta, a Selena Q video, and they said that we had nudity on that video. But as usual, when you have any problem with YouTube or you have maybe any copyright notices or whatsoever or any kind of infringement, what um, YouTube usually does is tell you the minute mark of where you have that infringement on your video. But as you can see right here on the screen in this Selena, uh, Selena Q video, they said that we, uh, in which they gave us a notice that uh, they landed a strike on account that the video had nudity. YouTube did not put the minute mark on where the nudity does exist in this video because it didn't exist. All what they're trying to do is shut us down for telling you guys the truth because they want you to stay confused. Now, as I've said before, YouTube is owned by the Vatican and the Vatican is YouTube. There's no such thing as uh, breaking community guideline rules as YouTube claims because YouTube is the Vatican. The community guidelines is there to protect them from the truth, from the truth which they've been covering up for so many years. So that's why we advise you that you should send us an email because if YouTube goes shuts us down, um, we're going to have your email information because we're working on a website. We're also working on several other things like movies coming down the pipeline. But the first and foremost thing that we want to get out of the way is the book. Because 
uh, what has always been a problem with the Vatican who runs this world and is responsible for all the transgenders has always been a book. And the first book that caused the most problems that uh, the Vatican still tries to, you know, get out of the way today is the Geneva Bible, the 1599 Geneva Bible. The printing press has always been the biggest problem that the Vatican has ever had. So that's why they came up with such things as the Internet, because with the Internet, they can block you from doing anything on the Internet from anywhere. But with a book, you can block someone from reading a book. Is that simple? So that's why we're putting all this information first and foremost in a book for you. Um, the book, um, we have like a couple of books down, but this is the most important one because it's pertinent that uh, we put all this information in there so that you understand your world. It's going to give you a perfect understanding of any questions that you ever had, all right, on the way things are. Uh, the book is going to be aptly titled in a funny kind of way because it's meant to uh, throw people off who are not looking for the truth, okay? It's meant to throw people off, but we'll tell you the name of the book in a couple of weeks, maybe, let's say, um, by, the, by the end of January, if you're still around, if the Vatican hasn't taken us off yet, or let's say maybe uh, towards the first week or second week or middle, uh, middle week of February. So what we want you to do is send us an email if you're interested in the book because as of now the book is only going to be printed or published according to the number of people who send us an email so if you did not send us an email uh, we most likely may not get a copy yet because we don't have um, excess inventory of a book that nobody cares about or wants to read. So that's why we encourage you that you send us an email if you're interested in the book so we can tell the publisher, okay, print this number of copies. And and, and the book is going to be uh, printed in, let's say, like we said, we're gonna, everything is going to be ready. Hopefully, we thought it would be ready by January, but based on how it's going, uh, we think it's going to be uh, February now. So send us an email if you're interested in the book. Our email is the same as the channel name at gmail.com. All right. Remember that. Send us an email with the title book so we know that you're interested in the book. So the warning that I wanted to put before I, I divert into talking about that is that uh, the channel is a different kind of channel. So if you're on here, you just can um, say someone is a transgender. There is no slandering allowed on this channel. If you say someone is a transgender, you have to provide facts and you don't have to provide frivolous facts because there's a lot of frivolous facts based on the uh, the confusion that the Vatican has set around by so many other channels that they have out there. You've probably heard that uh, you know someone can be male or female based on your know, ring or index finger being longer than the other. Uh, they can tell you someone is male or female based on the jawline. They have a strong jawline. They have Adonis belts. I don't know where even they got that word from Adonis belts because it's very, very funny. It's ridiculous to say Adonis belts. What is an Adonis belt? Uh, but all the same, you can't say someone is just transgender based on frivolous facts such as uh, the Adonis belts that I just mentioned has long arms, long torsos, has a strong jawline, has brow bossing, has a slanting forehead, has deep set eyes, and all those things that have nothing to do with childbirth. A woman can even have an Adam's apple. It doesn't make her not to be female because an Adam's apple, jawlines, index fingers, long arms and long torsos, a slanting forehead, brow bossing, deep set eyes have nothing to do with childbirth. A female having any of those features or not having them does not inter interfere with the fact that she can give birth. What makes a woman to be able to give birth which differentiates the sexes is that she has an arch in the back because her pelvis is tilted forward, her hips are below the crotch, and she has a wide pubic arch. So if you're going to say someone is a transgender, you have to provide those facts in links of pictures showing that the person has or does not have an arch in the back, hips below the crotch, a wide pubic arch, and a pelvis tilted forward. So if you start your comments by saying someone is a transgender with frivolous facts, that I've just mentioned before or earlier that have nothing to do with childbirth, you're going to get blocked. 
there is no slandering allowed on this channel it's zero tolerance for slandering okay so if you're not if you're not sure of the person don't even mention the person's name in the comment section you can send us an email an email is our uh, email is the same as the channel name at gmail.com is right here all right send us an email if you're not sure of the person don't even mention the name that's still considered slander so send us an email and we can talk about it in private and see what you have and help you to figure out stuff because the idea of this channel is to make sure that everybody knows that knowledge the truth is made possible to you so we can remove the refractive glasses that have been put on our eyes by the vatican to see our world through that's why we put all this information also in the book because the vatican wants us to stay in a perpetual state of a childlike uh, thinking in our brains because you can only tell a child what to do you don't tell grown adults what to do so but the vatican has reduced all of us to children in the way we think such that we cannot process stuff the right way and one of the major ways that they've done that is by using fluoride in our water and toothpaste so i advise everybody if you're going to know anything if you're going to start being able to think properly with your brain and have answers you have to stop using fluoride toothpaste you if it means that you don't have to brush your teeth you do not need to brush your teeth with any fluoride toothpaste the most you can need is use some baking soda to brush your teeth or put some salt in water all right in warm water rinse your mouth with it and use a brush and just brush your teeth slowly not harshly so that you don't you don't injure your gums if you're gonna start thinking right you need to stop using fluoride fluoride fries your brain cells because you have to understand that um as a child i mean when when you're as a let's say as an unfertilized embryo in your mother's womb if your mother's been using fluoride it affects the eggs so by the time she's conceived with you she's still ingesting fluoride so you as an embryo are ingesting the fluoride also so the fluoride is also messing with your brain right from the day that you were conceived and now you're a grown adult and you're still taking fluoride the same process is going through it's frying your brain cells it's making you manipulable to instructions it's making you not to be able to think you're just accepting stuff without thinking about it and that keeps the brain of most people in a childlike state such that they can't think so if you're gonna start thinking and know how to work with your brain you have to stop using fluoride it's going to take a while for the fluoride to drain of your system drain out of your system completely but that's the starting point because before we got on all this the first thing that we did was to stop using fluoride in a toothpaste mouthwash and floss so um like i'm saying before um, um the channel is different so we expect people to be able to know how to do this so that you can carry out and think about things and, and provide your own answers that's what this channel is about and please also with every video we have on this channel it's free for you to download upload it share it and let others know about the truth because that's all what we're interested in and so um, um before we move any further as usual um, i just have to say these words again we are not against transgenders if you're an adult and you've reached the age in which you can make the decision for yourself to say that you want to be uh, a mutilated man or woman because that's just what it means there's no such in the very in the very actual sense there is no such thing as being a transgender it's just a, a social word it's a social social constructive word because all what you're doing is going through a mutilation you mutilated yourself if you're female you took off your breast if you're male you took off your genitals and you're a, a mutilated male or female there's nothing more you're not a transgender because there's no way until you can change the skeletal structure 
which determines the sex, you are still the gender that you claim. And since that's not possible, then you cannot be a transgender. We just use the word transgender just to make other people, you know, uh, understand what we're talking about. Because the way we are programmed in this world by the Vatican after allowing us to ingest fluoride and so many other chemicals into our bodies is by words. They program you with words. So you, if you have to uh, reprogram yourself, you have to start calling things their actual names. That's the best way I can put it. So if you want to start thinking right, you start to have calling things by their actual names instead of the name that the Vatican and the elite want you to call it. There's no such thing as a transgender. It's a mutilated person. That's just the truth. Okay? Because it's, I mean, it's so crazy what the Vatican has made us to be in the sense that we are the only species of living organisms in this world who being born as male and female can believe that they are not. Isn't that ridiculous? You'll never see a cat or a mouse tell you that it's not a cat and a mouse. You'll never see a lion tell you it's not a lion. But this kind of nonsense that has been passed on to the human species to believe that a man can actually believe that he's not a man. He looks himself in the mirror. He sees he has the genitalia of a man, but he says, I'm not. And a woman can look herself in the mirror and sees that you have the skeletal structure, the hips of a female, all right, and you say, I'm not a female. Why the basis of all animals cannot even attempt to do that. A cat is not going to say I'm not a cat anymore. It remains a cat till the day it dies. And yet a human being who is supposed to be higher in elevation and thinking can look in the mirror, stand up and see that he's a man and says I am not. I'm just born in a different body. Isn't that crazy? But this is what the Vatican has reduced the world to has reduced the people to, in their thinking, to be childlike, such that you have grown men and grown women thinking like children, and they believe they're adults. So, that's what it is. The Vatican is the one responsible for your world, responsible for everything that's going on in your world, responsible down to the underwear you wear and the shower heads in your house. They're the ones responsible for the so-called uh, social construct of transgenders and also like we've said we're not against any transgender we're not here to judge anybody we are only exposing those people who've been lying to us like we're going to show you right here saying that they're a male when they're not in zach posen so let's find out who zach posen really is first of all we want to read from his wikipedia page and show you some f things before we get into uh, um, the document or sorry into his pictures rather let's do that so here is Zach Posen on the official web page of Zach Posen. Now here's the funny thing about uh, Zach Posen is actually Jewish. So for those folks out there who actually believe that Jews run the world as the Vatican has made them to believe, uh, this is kind of absurd that one of their own could be a mutilated female. Now um, Zach Posen was born according to uh, this page right here, October 24th, 1980. And like I've said before, maybe you've just heard me say that that uh, the Vatican, uh, uh, that the, it's not the Jews who run the world, but the Vatican does. There's one more thing that you have to know that is the Vatican who created the Jews. We put all this information in the book because we don't, we don't want to spend time talking about it. We don't even have the time because a lot of people complain that our videos are way too long. We're trying to keep it short. But if it happens to be long, there's nothing we can do it because people sit through so many long videos in their lives. They go to movie theaters and watch ridiculously long videos without even understanding what the movie is talking about. It's so ridiculous because every movie that you watch that's made by Hollywood, which is owned by the Vatican, has some sort of symbology about real life that you guys don't understand. So many of it. Like all the uh, post-apocalyptic movies that you watch have a very deep on the deep meaning of what's going on and what's going to go on in this world later. But people don't understand that. 
But we put all this information to make you understand how to watch movies and what you're watching in the book. It's a big book. Uh, we didn't want it to be that big, but we thought about it for a while and said, let's just put all this information out in case we never get a chance to make another book. Because we have so many things coming down the pipeline. We're working on movies. We're working on a website which is under construction. That's why you have to send us an email if you're interested in the book. And just send us an email regardless so we can put you on the email list. So that by the time the website under construction is ready, we can just let you guys know so you guys can move over there. Because the Vatican shut us, can shut us down at any point in time. They own YouTube. For any reason they see, oh... These guys are telling too much truth. We cannot control the truth anymore. They'll just pull the plug and the channel is going to go off. So that's why you have to send us an email and also try to subscribe to the second channel. So getting back into Zach Posen, the Vatican Code of Numbers right here is working on Zach Posen. As you can see, he was born October 24, 2 and 4, 6, because they always have to leave a markers on one of your own so they can know that he is or she is rather one of your own now zach posen here if you look at the picture of zach posen right he says um posen at the metropolitan opera opening september 22 2008 why did they have to put in the september 22 right there it's because it's a vatican code of numbers september is the ninth month of the year it's a multiple of three a vatican code of numbers and in a book we go into detail for you to understand the reason why um, this Vatican code of numbers happens to come up in multiples of threes. There is a very deep reason behind it. We put all this information in the book. So, like I said, if you're interested in the book, send us an email so we can print out a copy according to the number of emails that we receive. And we'll send you the email. The, the people who send us an email first, we're going to send you an email to get the book first before we make a video. Because we want to make sure that we exhaust everybody outside from the email before we make a video. So... Like I've said before, the book is going to come out. It's going to uh, uh, come out in sometime, we think, in February. Um, we might not even make a video about the book if we've exhausted all the copies that we have available that we've printed uh, to, uh, by the people who order it through email. So let's say we print out maybe, uh, let's say, maybe 50 copies. And we send 50 emails out to everybody who was interested in the book. And they all buy it off. We will not make a video and say the book is public yet because those are the copies where we have, all right, that are gone. So there's no need about telling you about uh, that the book, um, you know, is available when we don't have a copy. So that's the way we're going to do it. So based on the emails, we'll print it according to the number of emails we receive. So we put all that fine information so you can understand why. Uh, the Vatican code of numbers shows up in multiples of three because people don't really understand it. They just think that maybe uh, the three, uh, the three just maybe has ties down to you know uh, Freemasonic uh, rules or the, of the th of being a 33 degree Freemason and all that kind of stuff. That's also all in the book, but we go into the special details to show you why it shows up in multiples of three. So if you're uh, if you're interested in the book send us an email and send us an email regardless so we keep you on an email list for future you know information about the website and movies and other stuff so you say he says here on zach posen we continue said early life posen was born and raised to a jewish family in new york city residing in the soho manhattan neighborhood of lower manhattan so when people say that jews run the world why would a jew i mean the very idea of being a jew is according to the bible the Bible says in, I think, in Deuteronomy chapter number 23, uh, verse number one, it says that nobody who is emasculated, all right, or let's say anybody who has uh, castrated, castration happens to both male and females, cannot be accepted into the assembly of God. That means you cannot be counted as a so-called Jew. So if this Jew right here is castrated, as the case might be, a mutilated female, the very concept of it being a Jew cannot happen anymore. He cannot call or she cannot call himself a Jew. So Jews do not run the world. It's the Vatican who runs the world and who created them. And we put all that information in the book so you can understand why they had to be created. So if you read for the, this whole... Um, 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 the webpage about Zach Posen is littered 
with the Vatican Code of Numbers. Like, for example, right, he says uh, he attended St. Anne's School, a private school in Brooklyn, and his sophomore year attended with fashion designer Nicole Miller as a teen. He also won a Scholastic Award, Act and a Writing Award. At age 16, age 16, he enrolled in the uh, pre-college program at Parsons New School for Design. Vatican Code of Numbers is at work here. 16, the number six, okay? Uh, if you scroll further down, into uh, his personal life. Um, he says here, Posen lives in Soho neighborhood of Lower Manhattan with his boyfriend, Christopher Nickwet. Now, here's the point that I have to tell you something. Uh, a lot of the couples that you see on TV in which they are portrayed as being um, a, a homosexual couple really are not. They're actually heterosexual, but it's a kind of deviant kind of heterosexuality because uh, the female is made to look like a man. For example, the guy, um, what's the name of, let me try to make sure that I get the name right of the person I want to mention. Uh, let me see if I can get the name right. So, for example, Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris is a character who's on the show called How I Met Your Mother. A lot of people think that Neil Patrick Harris is actually a homosexual male. But Neil Patrick Harris is actual female. Um, there's one so uh, one other person who portrays who says that he's um, a, a, a homosexual male who's being portrayed to us. Um, he used to be uh, in the group called NSYNC. He was one of the members of NSYNC with Justin Timberlake. I've forgotten what his name was, or his name is rather. A lot of people think that that person is a homosexual male, but is actually a female. This is how twisted up the world is. The Vatican has made a world. They are making us believe in things that are not actually real. They tell you it's a homosexual couple right here in uh, uh, Zach Posen and Christopher Niquette when it's actually heterosexual. Twist it up. And they portray this on TV for you. So a lot of the stuff that you watch on TV is actually fabricated. It's not real. TV has made reality and fantasy to be real. It's only on TV that a war can be fought, which is not is not even real in the first place. So a lot of the so-called like wars that you see, I don't know, I don't want to give a, a particular name right now, is only acted out on TV and is not even in reality happening. I'm starting to think that the war in Syria is a fabrication. I'm I'm not saying it is, I said I'm starting to think. So there are a lot of stuff that happens on TV which is not even real and people actually think that that's reality. That's how powerful the tool of pictures are. Pictures were meant to tell you the truth. Right? Because they say a, word, a picture is a thousand words or seeing is believing. But we've never ever thought we know in our small brains that the Vatican may has made us have, we had never, never assumed that people can lie on pictures. But we see it every day. Like the movies that you watch, they are all fabricated. It's not reality that's happening before you. It's a fabrication of pictures made into reality. So let's get him back to uh, um, Zach Posen right here. Um, I was trying to show you the Vatican Code of Numbers that's in here. He says, Person lives in his Soho neighborhood of Lower Manhattan with his boyfriend, Christopher Nuket, and there are three dogs. Why do you have to tell us that they live with three dogs? Why couldn't you just say they live with dogs? They have a couple of dogs. Why do you have to put the specific number of three in there? Because it's a Vatican Code of Numbers that has very deep symbology. We don't have time to explain it in the video. We put inside the book. We'll let you know when the book is ready. We'll tell you the costs and tell you the cost of shipping. We will ship the book anywhere to you. You are in this world, provided you have an address. It doesn't matter if you're in the Caribbean islands. It doesn't matter if you're uh, in uh, Europe. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia, Africa. Uh, you know, wherever you might be that there is an address, we'll ship it to you. But you will not get the book on Amazon or any store out there. It's going to be shipped directly to you. We'll tell you how to do that uh, when the book is ready. It's almost at this point ready and it's almost in publishing. So let's get onto some pictures of Zach Posen and just wrap up this video on Zach Posen being uh, a, a gender that he's not actually, uh, rather that he's not. Okay, so let's find out. 
So here is a picture of Zach Posen with uh, Naomi Campbell. We we found out, uh, you know, that uh, while looking at the pictures of Zach Posen, that he has some sort of, or she, because this is not a he actually, uh, pardon me if I say he's a he, it's just, you know, when looking at this kind of things, and especially when they, they want us to call this person a he when he's actually female. So we found out that Naomi Campbell has a strange fascination, or rather Zach Posen has a strange fascination with uh, Naomi Campbell. It seems like they're always together somewhere. But what we want you to take a look is that the Q angle of Zach Posen right here, pardon the picture quality, is below the crutch and the Q angle is very, very cute, all right? Uh, the picture quality on this particular uh, video is not so, uh, sorry, on this particular picture is not so clear, but you can still see that the Q angle is below the crutch and look at how Zach Posen curves like a female. We'll have some more better pictures as we move along. So another picture of Zach Posen right here. You can see, like I told you before, if you're a female, you notice that you start spreading from underneath your elbows. You start getting wider. This is what Zach Posen is doing right here. As he gets wider from underneath his elbows and terminates right here, the widest point being uh, the hips, which is below the crotch. And you can see how acute that Q angle is because Zach Posen is 100% female. It's not a male. He's being just passed off to us as a male by the Vatican. And here is Zach Posen again, as you can see, like I told you, that's the elbows right there. And usually the arms of a female always follow the contours of the body. So if you're a female, you find out that your arms will try to follow the hourglass figure that females usually have. It's not going to be straight up and down than that of a man. And this is what Zach Posen's arms are doing, following the contours of the body, as you can see right here, trying to follow the hourglass figure. And see how his spread starts getting wider from underneath those elbows and gets wider and wider and wider and wider. And the widest point right here is below the crutch. Now, don't worry about, um, they try to make the, uh, make the crutch of, uh, a Zach Posen longer by the clothes, the crutch, his crutch doesn't end there. This is just cloth all the way down here, right? The crutch of Zach Posen is right around here. And that's where the hip is at the widest point. And look at how acute that Q angle is because Zach Posen is 100% a female and not a man. Uh, here is Zach Posen again. This is a much more better picture. You can see the Q angle is below the crutch with Naomi Campbell. That's why you can't trust any of these people you see on TV. They are all mind controlled by the Vatican. Their brains have been fried right from childhood through fluoride and through a variety of proprietary drugs that only the celebrities take because that's the reason why they, they can be controlled this much. They are subjugated through a lot of drugs and mind control. Um, I read about, um, I, I think I heard this in the news somewhere, that um, um, Shaq said that uh, reality, they were trying to make mockery of people who believe in like the flat earth because the earth is actually flat. And Shaquille O'Neal said that people are controlled by three things. The Vatican no code of number already is a work there. Three things. He said, you're controlled by what you read, what you see, and what you hear. So if you put a person in a specific condition, all right, of only having access, all right, and access to uh, what you control in what he sees, what he hears, and what he reads, you have a mind control freak right there. That is what mind control is. Controlled by what you see, what you hear, and what you read. So that's why you can't trust any of these celebrities because that's how they are mind controlled also with the drugs as well. By what they see, what they hear, and what they read, and you have a mind control freak. You can't trust any of them. They are all working for the Vatican. But regardless, we just wanted to show you right here how Zach Posen starts spreading from underneath his elbows and the widest point of that spread is the hips which are below the crotch from here where you have this fine acute angle of a female that Zach Posen has. All right, another picture of Zach Posen right here as you can see still spreading from underneath his elbows as you can see those are the elbows he spreads wider and the widest point is the hips below the crotch. Don't mind the long clothing line here that they want to try to make his crotch look longer. It's right around here. This is a lying deceiver of the Vatican working for the Vatican. All right. OK, uh, another picture of Zach Posen right here. And you can see her straight away. The Q angle is below the crotch. He gets wider again, wider, 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 wider. And the widest point is right here below the crotch because Zach Posen is 100 percent female. Let me try to blow this up. It's below the crotch. 
below, not above it, as a man should be, because Zach Posen is 100% female and not a man. Another Zach Posen picture pose right here. You didn't notice what I said? Elbows spreading wider underneath the elbows. Widest point is below the crotch because Zach Posen, don't worry about this. This is why, for example, I'm giving you a typical example right here of why you can't determine somebody by their facial features. Because if you were looking just at the facial features of Zach Posen right here, all right, let me try to blow this up so you can see the face pretty well. If you were going just by the facial features, you would say that this is a man. Because there is no way you have any indication that you're looking at a female from these facial pictures. Why? Why is that? Because like I've said before, through uh, drugs, plastic surgery, drugs meaning the drugs that we uh, take from, uh, you know, the food that we eat, the facial features, that changes all the skin and a lot of things that has to do with how a man and a woman should look. And also, coupled with the fact that plastic surgery is available at the beck and call right here, you can see that this so-called female has a square face. square face. Square face, which is naturally attributed to males, this has it. And the jawline here is also blunt because plastic surgery has made this possible. So anybody going off a facial feature, that's why if you leave any comment that has to do with a facial feature of, say, the person looks like a male and all those frivolous facts that have nothing to do with childbirth, which is the only way to distinguish between females and males, you just get blocked because you're slandering. You can't go off facial features. You can't go off long index and ring index fingers and long arms and tosses and all that. They have nothing to do with childbirth because those are totally messed up, totally screwed up. All right, so let's move further with some other pictures of Zach Posen. As you can see here, Zach Posen has an arch in his back, which is necessary for childbirth because Zach Posen is 100% female, arch in the back. We still want to thank Danielle for all these good pictures that she sent us. And also here is Zach Posen again with Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell is female. We have now uh, for people who send us a lot of, you know, who want to know the sex of so many people. Uh, or people that they thought to be um, not the gender they claim, we advise that you watch the series called uh, Real Gender, Not Transgender or Transsexual before you send us a comment or you require help in trying to figure out if someone is a transgender or not. Watch the whole entire series. I think it's up to part five number now and we'll be adding some more series on later. But watch the whole transgender, not transgender, transsexual playlist or series so that you know all the people we have covered to be the gender they claim. Because Naomi Campbell is female. No slandering allowed. You get blocked. Okay? Now, getting back to the subject of Zach Posen. Widest point right here is below the crutch. Because Zach Posen is 100% female. As you can see, let me blow, blow this picture up uh, as much as I can. Let me see if I can blow that up. Uh, it's not responding come on come on all right so right there you can see that the q angle is below the crotch the widest point terminates right here it's below the crotch because zach posen is 100 percent female and faking to you that it's been uh, masquerading around that has been male for way too long and a lot of people walk into the stores and 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 buy zach posen designers but this person can't even tell you the truth of his true gender, of her true gender, rather, that she's female. All right, so another picture of Zach. Here's Zach posing with uh, the so-called boyfriend of Niket boy, uh, Nik, uh, Niket, uh, Christopher Niket. Um, a lot of people think that this is uh, two homosexual couples, but this is female right here. I'm not sure about this man over here. He's actually the man, but I know for sure that this is a female. We don't have time to take a look into this fellow right here. If we do find out in the future that Christopher Niket um, is actually uh, a man, uh, not the gender that he claims, a video will come up. All right. But I just wanted to put this up here to let you know that this is female and the so-called homosexual union that which the Vatican is trying to tell us that is happening between Zach Posen and Christopher Niket is actually very wrong. They're a heterosexual couple for now. 
All right, so let's move forward. Uh, here's Zach Posen. I just wanted to show you this uh, with Emily Rata. I think Ratakowski, Ratakowski, if that's her name. Um, Rat Ratakowski is female. We have featured her on a real gender, not transgender series. So you need to watch that. No slandering allowed. Otherwise, you're going to get blocked. We're just putting this up just to let you know that you can't trust any of these so-called celebrities at all. They're not telling you the truth. If you're making role models of them, you're making role models of a devil. No celebrity. It doesn't matter what name is. They all work for the Vatican. It doesn't matter if his name is Denzel Washington. It doesn't matter if his name is Eddie Murphy. It doesn't matter if his name is Will Smith. It doesn't matter as long as you see them on that TV acting to a script or somebody who's a so-called celebrity or a so-called elite. They are working for the Vatican. They are all controlled by them. But regardless, here's Zach Posen. You can see that his arms are full in the contents of a body like a female should be because Zach Posen is 100% female and not a man. All right. Uh, Zach Posen again with... Uh, this is Zach Posen with Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum is also female, but you cannot trust a word that comes out of these people's mouths because they do not tell you the truth. You can't make role models of Jennifer Lopez. You can't make role models of anybody in Hollywood. They're all liars, deceivers, working for the Vatican. Uh, well, as usual, Zach Posen right here has an arch in the back. You can tell that he, this is 100% a woman and not a trans. Uh, sorry, and not a man. Sorry to say. Transgender. 100% transgender and not a man, as he claims. All right. Another picture of Zach Posen. They're still with uh, Heidi Klum. Uh, let's move forward. Some other pictures right here. You can see the hourglass figure of Zach Posen right here as he starts spreading and gets wider from underneath his elbows. And the widest point is below the crotch from where that acute Q angle starts. And the hips are so wide all the way because he's 100% female and not a man. All right. Zach Posen again. You can see he has an arch in his back and he spreads wider. And the widest point is below the crotch because he's 100% female and not a man. Been masquerading around as a male for too long. Zach Posen again. You can see the demeanor because people have to understand uh, the genetics of a female, the way a female acts, the way she carries herself, her arms, the way she walks. This is all genetically encoded. All right. So even if this, uh, even if Zach Posen was trying to act as a homosexual male, he can't do it like a female because it's all in the genetics. Okay, see the demeanor and the way he moves and how it. Because this is Jack, Zach Posen's waist right here. Because a female's waist is always going to be higher up above. All right, her navel. That's where a female waist is. So that's where Zach Posen is turning. If he was a man, he would be turning what much more lower to where the male waist is. But it's not because it's 100% female. You can see the curves and where it ends. All right. See that? The Q angle is below the crotch. Now, this is Juliette Lewis. Juliette Lewis is female. No slandering allowed. We featured on one of our uh, real gender, not transgender, uh, uh, real gender, not transgender uh, series, so no slandering allowed, okay? Juliet uh, Jill Lewis is female, all the same. All right, some other pictures of Zach Posen. Let's move further. Uh, here's Zach Posen. I don't know who he is with here or who she is with here, but regardless, we just wanted to show you that the hourglass figure is still saying, Oh, they am a female. The Q angle is below the crutch, all right? All right, let's move forward. Another Zach Posen right here with uh, Rihanna. So, you be trusting Rihanna? masquerading around with a female who tells you it's male you can't trust any of these people they all work for the vatican they're all employees of the vatican all right another picture of here is zach posing again with uh, naomi campbell the q angle is still below the crotch and see the way he carries those hands that's how a female carries her hands all right see that that's how a female carries her hands and walks because zach posing is 100 percent female and not a man uh, Zach Posen again with Naomi Campbell. The Q angle is still below the crutch right here, walking like a female. All right. How does a female walk? A female leans all her weight into the foot that's in front of her because the hips or the pubic arch is too wide, which pushes everything further apart. So in order for the female to balance her weight, the legs need to do two things. They need to come forward and inwards into the step. 
So that's why a female looks like her hips are swinging because the legs are doing two things. They're moving forward and inward into the body to balance the weight. Males don't walk that way because the male hip is narrow. All right. So the weight of the body doesn't have to. The body's not doing much trying to balance. So that's why a man, when a man walks, a man leans his weight to the foot that's behind him. But since this so-called dude isn't a man in actual reality, he's walking like a female. He's leaning all the weight into this leg right here. That's why a female looks like she cats walk. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go another picture of uh, Zach Posen right there with Nami Campbell. Another one. Uh, this is just one taken with uh, Zendaya. So if you've been trusting Zendaya and you've trusted um, Heidi Klum and Nina Garcia in this particular picture right here, you're doing yourself a grave mistake because all these people are professional liars selling you the idea that Zach Posen, who's sitting like a female right here with the way he crosses his leg, is actually male when he's not. All right, so that's all we have for you to, to do today. Like I've said before, if you're interested in the book, send us an email. The Vatican may shut us down any point in time. Just send us an email with the subject book. Our email is the same as the channel name at gmail.com. So we put you on an email list. So we put you, uh, uh, we can print a copy of the book for you in case you're interested because it's going to be printed according to order. And also, in case the Vatican shuts us down, so when our website under construction is done, we can move you over. And also subscribe to the second channel of Tricks of the S-Trade, channel 2. Uh, it's, just, it's just Tricks of the S-Trade 2. Look for that on YouTube and subscribe to it in case this channel goes down at any point in time. All right. So with that, we leave you with these words as usual. If you love what you see, subscribe to this channel and to the second channel. And look with your eyes, but see with your brain. Thanks and bye-bye.